Maria Munoz, a young and healthy Texas mother. Unexpectedly, a toxicology report later revealed seven different surgical drugs were found in his system. Was it or a terrible accident? Evidence presented at Joel Pellet's trial for the of his wife tells a different story than what Munoz told police the day she, the 22nd of September 2020 Maria Munoz Munoz, 31, a stay-at-home mom, lived in Laredo, Texas, with her two young sons and her husband, Pellet, on September 22, 2020. Pellet called 911 and said Munoz may have taken some prescription pills and that he could not breathe. Gregorio de la Cruz, first officer on the scene, told 48 Hours that Pellet's behavior appeared suspicious and that some aspects of scene didn't make much sense. Police body camera video Police body camera video of Joel Pellet seen in Laredo, Texas. After calling 911 on September 22, 2020, his body camera was recording when Officer de la Cruz of the Laredo Police Department responded to the 911 call. Pellet, the nurse anesthetist, is seen wearing teal surgical scrubs. The video captured some key moments that led de la Cruz to suspect Pellet might have had something to do with his wife's death. Pill container Joel Pellet told police that Maria Munoz may have overdosed on clonazepam. But when the autopsy was performed, the coroner did not find any pill residue in her stomach. One of those key moments was when de la Cruz asked for the pills Pellet said Munoz had taken. Pellet went to the restroom and de la Cruz said he heard her take a container out of the medicine cabinet. De la Cruz thought this was strange because in his experience, when someone overdosed on drugs, the drugs were usually near that person. In this case, the clonazepam pills prescribed to Pellet were in another room. Pellet is then seen on camera picking up the pillbox from the ground and putting it in his pocket. De La Cruz wondered why he took the pills back. Was he hiding something? Suspicious behavior Joel Pellet talks to police in his kitchen in Laredo. Texas. In addition to Pellet putting the pills in his pocket, there was something about his appearance that De La Cruz said looked suspicious. De La Cruz observed Pellet sweating profusely from under his scrubs, and De La Cruz said he appeared to be under the influence of drugs. A needle catheter, the type used for IVs, was discovered on the carpeted stairs. De La Cruz also found a catheter with a needle on the stairs of the couple's home. Pellet and Munoz had two young children. Why would there be needles on the stairs? Syringes and serum equipment were found in the medical bag inside the house. First responders found needle, as well as syringes and IV equipment, in the medical kit at home. Although Pellet is a nurse anesthetist who works in operating rooms. Such supplies are normally found in medical settings. Police interviewed Joel Pellet cameras recorded Joel Pellet in the police interrogation room. When he alone, he was bumping into walls, moving furniture, 